Hey, it's Finnick Bit. I'm back for another Paleo Tour. I'm here with Fancy Fast Fathern. Did I say that right? Right. Yeah, that's my that's my American way of saying it anyways. <laughs> How are you doing today? Yeah, having a great day actually. It's morning here, Sunday. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Fancy is located in Australia. And we toured her house live on stream during a speed tour. But now we're here. And we're going to do our more comprehensive tour. I'm following you. Where are we going? I just wanted to point to um, the bugs. See this painting up there? I do see the painting up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I tried to reach it. But tall you know it it's a window to another universe it looks scrunched too it does it's really stretched and scrunched i have yeah. no idea what happened that's okay well this cool. is the entrance yeah we'll look past um, it it's pretty stock standard these days as i said before that's ah. special you say that but i know i know, I know comments would disagree Come with me. Um, the area is very busy, um, and I've set it up into different rooms. This is what I call the secret area, Ooh. kind of closed off with all the trees. This is a little bit different. I am alive. I didn't know what to do with this area, so I've moved all the Christmas decorations here. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, the ever transition between holidays and decorating. Yeah, I, I didn't want to get rid of them, so this is Santa Past. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Past. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and we have over here um, a little picnic area where we just hang out looking at the pond. Yeah. I like how people have incorporated the natural elements of their plot into their design, like you have. And I've seen people do decorations for... I wish for... I hadn't have cut down all the trees. Yeah, I know there are a lot of people that have... Worse, I hate chopping down the rocks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all that free decoration. I coined a, a term in one of my previous tours, tree grits. Very good. <laughs> this is um, another area that I've closed off. You can only get to it. Oh, nice. Mm, the pumpkin room. So this is Halloween past. You know, it's really nice to be able to come back and see everything at a, at a good pace. You know, the, the speed tours are fun. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. They are fun. They're interactive. You get lots of people's reaction in real time. But it's nice to be able to just kind of take a take a commit stroll, you know? I uh, will just leave this area out through the fence gate. Cool. And head on back. It is also really back fun, to too, for me as, a, as someone that tours these homes. People that have designs like these that are that are complex, it's always nice that you have like safety exit areas too. <laughs> I like that safety exits. Yes. <laughs> then we have the koi pond. <laughs> uh, and like another little barbecue area. Grilling mushrooms. Some good mushrooms. Awesome. So, and I put the Freddo frog here. Oh, yes. Anything? Yep. Nice. That's a nice little surprise. It's, it's fun when people have been sneaking into their frog. <laughs> um, I've run out of my... I hit the item limit. I think everyone does. Uh, so I've had to move the garden plot, which was here in the last... All right. To 
to the plot I call the yard sale at the moment. Yeah, in the yard <laughs> sale. Yeah, this is just a pretty spot. Um, Doesn't have to be anything more than anything. that, you know. Nice use of some some clever clever work here. I see that little present underneath the uh, the bottom there. Yeah. Neat trick to get it raised up. If y'all don't notice, it. that's a. I, I like the present. Yeah, it's a little present that we got from the devs to be able to put ground stuff on top of this present. Maybe it was accidentally introduced as a debugging tool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And speaking then we of come bugs. To, uh, yes, speaking of bugs. Here's the back room. I'd gotten tired of um, using screens and trees to set rooms up, and I thought, why not use these? I'd seen them in houses before. So this isn't only just a bug room, but this place here is a sacred, sacred area. You can look at the stars. Those of you who haven't seen the live tour, yeah, this is a, a sacred area. Look at the stars. There's also a temple for the Phoenix and temple to the Chapa. And then across the way, there's temple of the dragon. It's a multi-denominational area. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pick, you know? Yeah. And we've got little reading areas here on each of the corners. Uh, just... Oh, I, I see that. Sit on some of these stools. I know, mm. right? They forgot to add that. I know. Anyway, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah, not this update. <laughs> so we'll just go out here into the the next area. Take our safety exit. Yep. Ooh. Fire. Finally got the chappers burning. Yeah, this is, uh, okay. <laughs> as you say so casually, I finally got the chapas <laughs> burning. Mm, kind of like Phoenix Rising. You, again, those red presents, they were awesome. Yeah, they are, they're a nice little gift. This is mm, maybe a little bit as hot as an Australian summer. <laughs> That's a really nice little area. This is a uh, work area. Yeah, design space. Work design. Got your crafting tools. It's always fun that uh, those kind of pop in, you know. Awesome. And then we come around to the other side of this. Ooh. There I've you had are. to remove all the fencing. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet. I don't care. <laughs> it's uh it's kinda crazy. People that are at their asset limit, what what they have to sacrifice if you make things work. Oh what do we I have? I really up here? didn't want to get rid of the fencing, but what? Oh yeah, another little brazier. Nice little view. So we I remember a... this is uh we got a flight game here. Target practice. Yes. So, let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, get it? I didn't. I didn't this time. Oh, I got it didn't. live on stream. Yeah, we got a little target <laughs> practice here. Land on the, land on the vase. Get a grand prize. And the view is is quite, quite good as well. It is. It is. We need more. Need more vistas. Like this. I like this little outdoor area. I'm in the tent right now. It's a party kitchen here. Party kitchen, yeah. The party goes where you go, you know? You just throw up the tent, have a party. And we have the spa. Yeah, I love the spa. I love people that have done, done spas like this, and it's always curious to know what people have chosen for different... Uh, different tables around it, different deck styles, but the tables that you use really 
really add some design to it. It's not just like flat. Yeah, it's a good pattern. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the outdoor dunny. I have one of those in a waiting room. It's oh yeah, yeah. Nice, cute little pumpkin patch over here in the corner. Yes, that was one of my other fences I had to go. Yeah. <laughs> and then this area here is just devoted to um, parties. Oh, I love how colorful it is. The slot machines. Yeah, slot um, machines. Nice little. And when the band plays. Band plays. Bandstand. Nice and little tic tac toe. I've seen a number of these. Yeah. Booms by other people. I've just added it to the. I think the buck wall gives it a bit of color as well. I think so too. I really do. Really kind of brightens it up. And just little uh, guest nooks here. Awesome. And then we have. Uh, our kitchen. So this is the main public kitchen. Oh yeah, we're going to sneak in here. My plot is, is a cooking academy. Oh, I don't remember you. Yeah, you didn't you didn't no, mention that on I the stream, I don't think. It because I hadn't finished ah, I see. the major blocks of it. The kitchen hasn't changed a lot. Um, I've tried to edit some of the stuff out <laughs> for the item count, but but so I just... at the moment it's set up for um, dessert cooking. Okay. So we've got a weekend of guests incoming. Nice. Learn how to cook cakes. Yeah. With Chef Fancy. <laughs> Chef Fancy, make fancy cakes. Fancy. Now there's a number of exits here, um, but we'll go through the tree arch. Okay. And this is going to show you the uh, guest accommodation. Remember, these people are paying guests oh, and yes. they're learning how to cook. Uh, we'll go down to the bottom end and work our way up. Okay. This is the green room. Oh, yes. Mm, see a bit of a problem here. Yes. I haven't noticed Cleaner anything yet. Cleaner hasn't been in and removed, removed the Christmas decorations yet. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, I like how people have incorporated color into their builds in different ways and just kind of aligned things around a, a color for a theme. But still make it balance. Mostly the bellflower mm -hmm. furniture. But obviously it got some in different things. Yeah. And then we have the kitchen here, the cookbook. Oh, yes. If only cookbooks were similar to spell books where you could just kind of poof food into into reality. Then we have the uh, blue room next. The blue room. Let me know in the comments what color is your favorite to use in Paleo. Mm, green. Yeah, you like the green room the most? I like the green most. I'm, I'm trying not to go green everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that is also a child. <laughs> that is also really funny though that um people they have their favorites like like you said and trying not to like you said use <laughs> use a single color everywhere <laughs> go overboard with it but this is um all mostly dragon type furniture here of yeah. course And we've got the meal ready for them. Awesome. It is fun how people have, have done things like this that are very full service. Have a pink room. Pink room. Based on the dry, on the Ravenwood. Oh range. yeah. Uh, the next guests are com coming in are going to have 
going to celebrate a birthday, so we've got a birthday cake there for Oh, them. yes. A See, little bit more on the dark romantic. Your name is tricky because I can't use the word fancy to describe everything because it's it'd be very meta. Because I want to say it's very fancy, but it, it's it's obvious, you know, because it's made by you. <laughs> True. <laughs> no, it's very. And it's just a tiny kitchen here. It's so. cute. Clean, cute kitchen. I like it. And then finally, we have. Oh, I'm not really quite sure what color to use. I've used a couple of colors here. Red, brown, blue, black. You can call it the warm room. Yeah. A lot of warm it's, colors. Um, Moonstruck and Investigator. Oh, yeah. Nice corner kitchen. One that people have incorporated different designs. Very, very elegant. Regal. Ooh, nice. You have a bath and then lay down, being exhausted yes. in the bath. That's awesome. Um, that's the the B&Bs, the guest accommodation. Nice. So we've got over here the main house. Ooh, main house. Oh, yes. Totally Our main house room. vibes. And the mudroom showing off things. Oh, need to squash that bug. I mean. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a big old bug. <laughs> As I said, I live in Australia. Oh my gosh. Yes, you did. Big bugs. Yeah, big bugs in the house. <laughs> uh I like the I like how people I let me let me get my words in place. I like how in Palea we have the ability to display trophies from things, accomplishments and stuff. Normally achievements are just simply stickers that you get on your account, but that's a nice design. But the fact that we can actually have something physical that we can display in our house, I think that's a really fun, fun thing, fun difference in Palea that I've seen anyways. I like this room. Wall cabin furniture. Yeah. And my favorite. Color. Your favorite cupboard? Color. Oh, color. Yes, okay. of course. I related. <laughs> <laughs> Your outfit is, is amazing. Rocking those shades. And then over here on this and side. The other bedroom. Yeah, the other bedroom. Yeah, this is industrial style furniture mostly. With a bit of capital sheet. I like how people have taken these geometric like designs. Them. It's really cool. Mm. I do have one green thing, surely. <laughs> I'm sure we can find one. Here we go. Green rug. Nailed it. I do like this wallpaper too. Feels very worn. Excellent. And the water is great. Oh yes, the water is fantastic. And this is the informal lounge. Yeah. After a long day. And then we have the dining room for the guests when they come. I like this dining up. room. Uh, little bit of sushi and stuff. Yeah, very sturdy. Very sturdy. I'll pop 
on over here to the left. Ooh, the bar. The bar. That's a fancy bar. I also like how people have gotten creative with those shapes too. It's really fun. Fun doing. Oh yeah, I bet. This is all Capital Chic, of course. Oh yeah. A little bit of um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Valley Sunrise. Sunrise Valley. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to remember all of the different names. You're just like that furniture set right there. That one. <laughs> oh yeah, it's that one. <laughs> and uh, this is the main home kitchen, the personal kitchen. I like the lighting here. Good, creation. good lighting for kitchens. Had to be bright. You need to see what you're cooking. Absolutely, yeah. You don't want to mess it up. It's nice so we can display things in our little curio cabinets. Oh, uh, this room is cute. My relenting to the plushies. They're so cute. Yes. Awesome. But for me to kind of get everything, you, all the angles. Take yep, I'm following you. Oh. Mm -hmm. These are always fun too. I like around the the Hall Halloween times that we we had people stack uh, pumpkins behind them. That was really fun. I wonder wonder what other kind of things we'll we'll find in future updates. My okay. home. Now, I haven't done much around the outside, but I do have some surprises. Okay, it's following you. Bare bones, because item limit. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, people that... People that haven't reached that limit yet, you can kind of get an idea of where to start. I always like to... Remind people that, you know, that are just getting started in Paleo. Oh dear. Got a leak in the fish tank. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cold, it's it's frozen over. Froze it over. I wonder which fish died. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a bug. I couldn't remove the snow. Oh. So I go, okay, what do I do? I guess we're just going to put some fish here for funny. We don't have very many fish. I haven't really concentrated on fish yet. Yeah. Too much to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a great day. Lots of things to do. So, Miss Fancy, have we have we covered everything? Yeah. Yeah? Where would the be the... Coziest place on your house or plot be for Q&A? Oh, at the informal lounge. Informal oh, lounge, yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, Q&A time. Good times. I like Q&A. I, like I like to ask all the all the good questions people are, are curious about. Before we begin, uh, if there's a specific question that you would like me to ask, our paleo or guides let me know in the comments but we'll go ahead and we'll get started with you know my first one that i like to ask just to kind of get get some understanding like how long have you been playing paleo since the open beta yep. on day one. Oh, awesome. i did try to get into the first beta but oh, <laughs> for months i've been trying <laughs> yeah i didn't know how many times i sent in my name and address and email mm. Anyway, it's just you start one, to come course. up with like pseudo names just to see if you can get one name in yeah. before the other. I created two extra accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I know, very sad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, uh, what are some things that you enjoy decorating the most in Balia? I'd like to say all kitchens. I like doing. I like the detail. I can mm -hmm. get 
trouble is uh, the item when it hurts badly. I understand why they've done it. Okay? Right. Oh, give us another thousand items, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, there, there's a, there's a lot of people that that are wanting more, 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 and it's a, it's an item. Li I think it's a, it's item limit per plot, right? So. Yeah, per plot. Uh, um, and the redraw, you know, the server problems, you know. Yeah. I understand. You can't have ten thousand. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Without bringing entire Paleo servers down. I mean, yeah. Or at be... least so unwieldy it can't load correctly. Right, yeah. I've I've seen some that have uh, really tested some performance of, of Paleo, and it made, it made tours pretty challenging. So tell me a little bit about how you got your name. Well, Fancy has been my gaming handle for a long time. I've been playing a lot of games for years now. MMOs mostly. Yep. A few survival games. No RTS. I'm not that into right. shooting things. But, but general RPG MMOs. Uh, so fans, okay. Now the reason for Faster, I have no idea. I just <laughs> put characters together and it came out that. I thought, okay. <laughs> hey, that works. That works. Sometimes that's just that's how it happens. You know? Just, I still have no idea how I came up with it, but anyway, it is what it is. It works. And as I said, Fancy is the gaming I use for most of my games, all of the games. That's awesome. Yeah, very simple. Very simple. In terms of group activities in Paleo, I know we have lots of uh, cooking parties and stuff, and that's it's a good way to get with people and you know interact doing an activity together. What's another group activity that you would like to see in Paleo? I'd like to see, um, gee, I'd like to see the mining parties come back. Right. Um, I'd like to see the, the tree hunt, tree farming. Mm -hmm. Although I said that it was great when we got the flow tree groves, but it killed flow tree. Right. <laughs> Do you think that... Um, in sort of an open world like we have that maybe instead of instead of the flu tree groves coming back as they are or the the mining coming back as it is do you think it would probably be better to have something that's more instant instanced meaning like you go to yeah. another area Just, that has those things and yes. you can invite some people yeah, yeah. that'd be great um i'd like to see in in line or in game Separate little games in the game. Yeah, something you can kind of. Uh, one of the MMOs, for instance, had that I used to play, Plant vs. Zombies. That'd be cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that would, wouldn't game it? Game within the game, you know? Yeah. It, Rather sort of... than synthetically creating them ourselves through, you know, items and stuff. Yeah, game yeah, within a game would be like really cool. Every time we create a game, you know, a community event, Helia dates it and changes it and basically stops it yeah i think they nearly we'll, killed the copies <laughs> yeah i think we'll get to a point though where we as a community get on the same page as the development i think it's it's kind of um i'm sure it's probably just a rebalance thing they just want to make sure that i'm speculating here uh, i'm speculating that it's just uh they well, want to make sure that it's balanced I'm, although I hated the change to Valium, you know, where they got it out of specific areas. Right. Um, I just wish they'd increase the, the load more. I can go out for a couple of hours and not come back with any party. Very sad. Yeah. Tons of I'm yeah. actually selling, you know? Yeah, I totally understand. Um, like, you, sh time is valuable. That's the one thing that we can never get back of, you know? And if you, for people that have, that don't have a lot of time to play Paleo, to go in and, like you said, spend a couple hours doing mining and not get anything out of it, then that's kind of a discouragement to do the activity. You know, you're just like, well, it's just, does that mean I have oh. to go for like four hours or something? It's like, I don't have four hours to spend, you know? One of the other things that's really hurt the communities and events was the server synchronization fail. Yes, yeah, um, absolutely. I didn't, I didn't even know that I was on a different server until it happened, mm -hmm. until yeah. it failed. 
Yeah. So now I have to run a VPN. I pay three or four dollars extra uh, just to run a VPN, just so that I can go to various parties and events with most of the friends that I have. Um, of course, I'm on the APAC servers. Right. And more often than not, there's no one on the server. Those who who don't understand, uh, APAC is the Asian Pacific server, APAC. Uh, most people don't realize when they're connecting to Paleo, they're connecting to regional servers. Uh, I'm sure most of you may be connecting to a different server, but those of you who are on other servers than the North American servers, they have uh, a pretty wildly different experience with Paleo. You know, it's a uh, server count a couple of days ago, and there were six people online in Bahari. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not a lot. Mind you, that, that day I came home with 22 or Pally <laughs> <laughs> You know. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to take your, your wins where you can, I guess. But, you know, the social aspect of an MMO means you should be able to play with anybody, anywhere, at any time. And uh, it's always uh, unfortunate and disheartening that there are silos. And I don't know whether it's on the EU service is the same as the um, it, the APAC. It is. Uh, it is. is. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same experience, but there have been uh, people that Language. I've known who have been in the EU that I haven't been able to go to their plots. They don't even have um, translation on the uh, service. Yeah. I can't uh, speak or read a many Asian languages. And if you um, if you type and you're, um, I don't know how they do it, but it's Chinese slash whatever the language is, uh -huh. and you don't know what they're saying. They could be singing out Grove, and then whatever. Right. So that's I, a good point. Yeah, that's a really good point. I'm, Definitely something. I'd imagine it would be the same in, in the EU. Right. Yes. People that speak different languages, it. I imagine there there would be a language barrier for you know community activities like calling out flow farms and stuff like that yeah so even within those servers not only is it limiting in that you can't connect to the north american servers you also have language barriers which adds another layer of challenge to it so definitely we will keep an eye on it and uh, for me the service thing has been the worst experience right um, yeah definitely I all together over even you know adding stuff without repairing their previous bugs and stuff yeah well miss fancy thank you so much again yeah. for inviting me back out to your plot uh just like i said earlier we had a we toured this live and it's always a it's always fun for me to be able to come out and take our time get to know you a little bit better i really appreciate you being a part of the community it's been a lot of fun getting to know you and and having you around I thoroughly enjoyed it too. <laughs> I love your um, plot tours. I really do. Oh, thank Watch you. Them yeah, thank you so Crips much. Really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, if those of you who are still sticking around, make sure you like the video, comment, let me know what you think, and follow me for more Paleo tours. I will catch you all for the next one. Until next time, bye bye. Thank you.